Well, hello there, my fellow hopeful investors. Today, we're going to do a September portfolio update. I'm here on my dashboard in Google Sheets, and you can see that our portfolio total value is now up to $56,940.80. But stand by, because when the markets open on Tuesday, it's probably going to crash and burn. But that's okay, because if we look at my annual dividend income gauge there on the left, you'll see that the needle is slowly creeping towards the right, towards our goal of $5,000 a year. Right now, we are looking at $2,696.78 for the year. If any of you watched last month's update, you'll know that we had a $53,000 portfolio at that time, and we all dug in together. We looked at all of our holdings, sector by sector, looking at all the metrics, and it really helped me decide which companies I should keep and which ones I wanted to sell out of. At the time, I had 38 different positions, and I just felt like it was just too much for me to manage. So I did some finagling. Now, what you can see here are the companies that I decided to sell out of. So based on my findings, I decided, and I may be going against the grain of lots of dividend investors here, but I did sell out of my 16 shares of British American Tobacco, ticker symbol BTI. In addition, I sold out of 8.524 shares of Enbridge, wasn't a huge position. I also sold my position in Ruger, which was just a little over eight shares. My position in UGI, which was just about 20 shares. That one share that I had of Warner Brothers Discovery from the AT&T spinoff, I also sold out of my 0.03% of a share of Amazon, which was my Welcome to Robin Hood gift when I joined, and I sold out of eight shares of Ford. So basically, what this allowed me was $3,835 with which to reinvest into different things within my portfolio. So now I want to share with you guys what I bought. What you'll see is there's there's a variety of different dates there listed along the left, and that's when I obviously when I purchased each of these individual shares or fractional shares of these companies. Some of them are listed a couple of times. It could be that they are in multiple different accounts, or it could be that I was like, oh goodness, like look at Home Depot. I was chasing that. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So let's take a look at what I did buy in the month of August. Now remember, I had those additional funds of $3,800 to reallocate into the positions that we already had. And there are actually two new positions that I added in the middle of all this. I wonder if you guys can see already which ones they are. We got two shares of AbbVie. I actually opened a position in Apple, but look at the price I paid, you guys, $174.14. I just checked. It's right now, well, it's Sunday, but it's trading for $155.81 as of the last Friday. So I'm a little bit disappointed, and maybe August 19th was not the best time to start this position, but it's one share. I'm going to be okay. The next thing we added, and actually a good percentage of, was 41 shares of Algonquin. We added seven shares of Bearings Business Development Company, and this is the other new position that I opened. So we actually have seven shares of Home Depot, and you can kind of see my rationale for what was going on here. So I first bought it on the 19th at 323, and then it dropped down on the 26th to 299, and then it dropped again at 295. So I was trying to kind of, well, it looks like I was chasing the share price, and quite frankly, I was. <laughs> so we can bring down our cost basis on Home Depot. I'm excited to have that company in the portfolio. I just need better prices and better planning, it looks like. The next thing I bought was Intel. I'm still buying, you guys. I know there's a lot of controversy around Intel right now. The price keeps dropping, but we picked up almost 20 more shares. One more share of Jeppy, two shares of Johnson & Johnson, a share of Main Street Capital, picked up a little bit more Medtronic, so we got three there. Altria Group, what did we get in total? Looks like nine, just a little over nine shares of Altria Group. Well, apparently I was on a shopping spree <laughs> for Realty Income because I added 49 more shares. Wow, I was really excited about Realty Income in the month of August. Anyhow, we picked up a share of Philip Morris, and this is a position, um, SCHD, where I really, I, I'm going to be in earnest trying to add to. We picked up another 7.6 shares in the month of August, and I actually have a plan to buy a little baby fraction of a share every day in the month of September. It's a little experiment that I'm working on. I'll share it with you guys once I'm figured it all out. Stag, I added 20 shares of Stag. AT&T, we also apparently, I was on a shopping spree with that too, and I picked up 42 shares of AT&T. TD Bank, two more shares of TD Bank. T Row, one of my favorites, I got two shares of T Row. And finally, Verizon, we added eight shares of Verizon. So $11,000 in the month of August. I was, I was really working at you guys. 
who's working it? We have just under a $57,000 portfolio total. And you guys are gonna start to see that stall a little bit as the months go, because we'll only be contributing a smaller amount. But $2,700 in annual dividend income, who's excited about that? Well, I am, I'm pretty excited about it. Altria Group is gonna be our biggest dividend payer over the course of the next year at $364 and maybe Main Street Capital at 228. Yeah, Main Street Capital will be the second highest and it looks like Realty Income will be the third. So those are kind of our top three dividend payers. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is the portfolio breakdown, which I honestly think I forgot to do in the last video. So here it is. And you can see there's some things that are such a small position that you can't even see the sliver. It's not even labeled. And I think one of them is VOO. I'm still on the fence, you guys, VOO or VTI. Dividend investors out there, you guys, what's your favorite? Are you doing both? Which one do you pick? Can you please give me some guidance there? I'm still on the fence. At any rate, this is the portfolio breakdown. You guys, I did a little research because I'm a little light on the October dividend payments and I wanna share it with you guys. So go take a peek at the companies that you may still have a little bit of time. There's still some that are gonna go X dividend in the month of September, so jump on that now. Take a peek at that video. So if you wanna get in on any of those investments, do so now so you can get those dividend payments in October. Okay, go watch it.